um, it's fascinating, right? I need, need this out in the world where there is this conception of both algorithm and reloop chasing me and like throwing big money at me to try and get them to work with me. It was the other way around, actually. I pursued them um, because a couple of years ago, I uh, started to implement algorithm uh, in my setup purely because of stems. And I was like, whoa, uh, this is crazy. You can do that live, you know, strip vocals and everything. And um, so I started implementing it in my set and it actually it started to take over more and more and more. And uh, f like three, four years ago, Reloop had sent me uh, a mix tour. And we were flirting a little bit because I, I love their little tape recorder and they sent me a bunch of those. I recorded my sets on, on there. So they had my address, send me a mix tour. I looked at it and I was like, I'm missing decks. Also, this kind of looks like a toy, like, I don't know. So I flung it in the corner. And when I started implementing uh, DJ Pro, I was like, there, there needs to be a handier way to, to maneuver through, through the app. And then I, I found the mix store again. Now I, I connected it to my phone. I was like, oh, OK, cue points, OK, play. And uh, everything just connected. And uh, then, in regards to Mix Store Pro, I was like, yeah, I'm DJing on this. I'm enjoying this, but I'm missing this and that and this and that and this and that. And I actually came with a, like my own design of a Mix Store Pro, where it was like I literally, I drew over the old one. And I was like, I need more buttons here. I want a dedicated uh, cue and press and sync buttons, because now it's all in one. Um, we don't have access to neural mix like this. And so all of that, you know, it's funny because we, we first started talking and they were like, are you serious? Are you, do you really want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, I want to do this because I see it. And yeah, f flash forward two years later and we're here at Nam, and I have my own piece of gear out. And um, yeah, it's, it's a dream come true for me because everything I desire in a little unit like that is in there. And I know, you know, I've seen some comments online. There's, uh, what was it, a, a Kai unit. Um, there's obviously, there's Tractor. There's plenty of other small units. But I was specifically looking, and I, I like the Tractor form factor, where it's like the, the cool little strip. Uh, but none of it has dedicated faders, like a, a DJ um, a, a user interface. Faders, filters. EQs, and then a whole lot more, and now we're here. I was going to say, like, in terms of the actual form factor, that kind of narrow slots in between other gear, is, is there other stuff you've used in the past that has kind of made you lean towards that? No, but I've always, uh, I've always loved techno DJs, and I've always looked at them thinking, wow, that's actually super cool with that whole tractor thing seeing them walk around on Ibiza uh, with, with their silver suitcase. And I was like, wow, that's a, that's a tractor setup right there. I kind of want that, but I don't want to deal with the laptop. And uh, in the beginning 2000s, I actually tried playing with the laptop. Fun fact, I had a, a what is a one-touch HP computer with virtual DJ on there. And this was back in 2007, I believe. I was like, Surely, if there's a touch screen and you have these buttons and these faders, I can play with virtual DJ on a touch screen laptop. But that didn't work out. Tractor neither uh, on, on the laptop. Just the sheer fact for me personally, right? This shout out to everyone using Tractor and everyone using Serato. But for me personally, lugging the laptop, connecting it. Uh, I actually had a show where I ran out of power mid-set uh, because I didn't plug in my power adapter. Now, granted, we have a power adapter in here as well, but that's, that's going to change. And especially, yeah, so the old one, we had a power adapter. And in the new one, you're going to be able to hook in via USB 3 um, a power bank. So that'll, that'll be much more comfortable. Uh, yeah, so very happy with the USB-C uh, inputs there. It's really just a, it's called Mixtor Pro, but it's actually a Mixtor on steroids. What's your favorite feature of the Mixtor Pro? You have to choose one oh, thing. Oh, 
you know what's a delight right now that we actually have color changing uh, buttons on there with the with the color changing LEDs because I work a lot with hot cue points and I color code them I've been doing so forever and uh, on the on the mix tour there wasn't any color changing abilities so I was always matching like okay so on my screen I'm seeing hot Q2 which is the yellow one but that's a the second one on here and I was al always calculating and now it's just right in front of my face uh, for me when I see the the red hot Q it's a drop yellow is vocals and so just right in front of me I can pinpoint that immediately How it's a tricky one because scratching is a really big hobby of mine. Actually, I just came off stage and DJ Qbert was doing a back-to-back -back with me. Super intimidating. I was scared. I was scared for sure. But um, actually, in my studio, I uh, have the, the Reloop 8000s, uh, the RP 8000s MK2. So I do my scratching on there, which is nice. And I'm actually practicing on my mix on uh, 8 as well. So it's still there. Um, but not necessarily for, and this is my thing, this will be my dedicated club and festival unit coming years. Uh, just got confirmed for Tomorrowland, I'm going to be DJing on this. So it's real, like it's not, you know, it's some toy, I'm going to put it out, I'm going to earn some money. And No, this is actually a dream come true for me, a true festival setup in the palm of my hand. The other DJs that you're playing with, do you feel like they're open and accepting to what you're doing, or are some of them maybe being a bit judgy about you? And you know, it's it's interesting. What's the reaction yeah, then from yeah. Your, your contemporaries? So the the most pros know me and know me really well, especially the whole Dutch crew. They saw me switching from vinyl to CDJs back in the day, where I made a fool out of myself, announcing on TV that DJing with CDs was the, fu the future and you can only imagine a landscape where there's only vinyl DJs and real DJing is with vinyl so then some yo-yo comes around and say says this is a CDJ you can put your CD in you can do the same thing and this is the future the hate that I got was insane so now they see me DJing from my phone and they're like oh yeah it's Luke again um, and I do think that Although a lot of DJs don't get it and a lot of DJs are conser conservative, um, they, they have respect for it. And I, th I believe you need to see this unit as a, a tractor type of style unit, but with a, a DJ user interface, a proper DJ user interface. Um, yeah, and that's the angle. It's a proper professional festival setup in the palm of your hand. How are you finding the sound quality on the Pro version? <clears throat> Incredible. Incredible. Uh, so it's 24 bits. I'm just going to look at Gerald there. 24 bits. Is it anything else, right? Serious For Logic uh, converters. Serious Logic converters. Um, yeah, so much better than, than the old one. So yeah, the difference is huge. Is it as loud as a CDJ output? Well, I was, I was running really hot just now. Huh? We had the, the guy coming in, turning down the sound, which I never really had on the mix door. So I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. yes? No, that's just the sound police from the, from the exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. And so, you know, those type of technical DJs, for me, as how I see it, and I, I like keeping it simple. Uh, it's just another medium that you can plug into a DJ mixer. That's why there's RCA. Frankly, we didn't have any space for XLR. Uh, because the unit is cramped, like literally cramped. It feels heavy as well with trying to put all the, the functions in. So it, the main function for me personally is an, running an RCA into the proper DJ mixer. And for me, I don't really care much as long, you know, there's sufficient output for sure. Do you use your actual phone or are you using it like a second phone? And have you ever forgotten to put it in like do not disturb mode and got a call during a set? I love this question. So let me bounce this question back at you. When you step into your car, is it your actual phone that you use or is it like a separate phone? Okay. Obviously, I know the answer to that, right? When you do a Zoom call, do you actually take it on your daily phone 
or do you have a special phone for meetings? You know, I'm being funny with this, but that's my mindset where it's like, I want this to be a daily experience. I just want to pop on stage, get my daily phone out, put it on do not disturb, which is watertight. And to answer your question, I uh, was prepping for a streaming set one day and I did not have it on do not disturb. Oh no, actually I did. And then my wife called and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, but there's a, so it has to do with your favorites and yeah, settings yeah, yeah. Uh, and that sort of thing. So right now it's watertight. No one, nothing can get through. <laughs> this year, one of the hypest DJs around, James Hype, he stepped off of the stage twice at Tomorrowland and at a different stage on tour. Why? Because the gear, the flagship system gear he was playing on, DJs had been playing before. Uh, a lot of the CDJ, uh, CDJs have been around for decades. And you get some DJs that played before and they're just like all over the effects and, and like on the faders and everything is crooked. And these things have been out for 10 years and everything is like, Ugh. so reason number one, you bring your own setup. No one is touching this other than you. This is a, this is a huge one for me. Um, I just made the joke, whereas uh, I'm like, where's my phone? But my phone is over there. I just made the joke before we got into this that I was just standing here and I said, I'm programming my cue points. And I've been doing that uh, on my way to Nam, at the airports, even in bed. I love being in bed and just being on my phone and preparing my set. And it's amazing. Um, obviously, that's more of an algorithm feature, right? But the beauty is that Reloop and algorithm work together so closely. For me, it's the same thing. Uh, but also, speaking of bed, sometimes I DJ in bed <laughs> with this, right? So uh, that's number two. Number three. Oh, number three. I saw the hate online when we uh, announced it and hate about the price. But if you compare this price with a, st a standard flagship festival setup price, four CDJs, one mixer, that's $11,000 at least. This is 500. And you get like the full thing, I, and I promise you, it's called a pro because a pro like me wants to use it, has developed it. I am gonna use it coming years, biggest festivals and clubs in the world. This will be my flagship set up five hundred dollars and so that's number three and so everyone is then able to dj on my same exact setup and uh yeah i love that i love that break break the mold thanks coming to something you're quite renowned for is kind of helping younger djs and producers come through is that is this kind of part of your mission is to do that and, and kind of encourage the new generation with affordable gear that they've not had access to maybe before? Is that kind of popular? Absolutely, because it kind, it kind of sucks. You know, when you see all my fellow DJs DJ, the setup that they use is tremendously expensive. And yeah, so then you buy a controller and you kind of like build your way up to the flagship system maybe one day. Um, and it, that's like buying a car. And so to be able to DJ on the same exact gear I have now, yeah, that is, for me, that is actually helping the, the young talents as well, because everyone can have access to this. So obviously you've said this is your festival and touring setup for the forthcoming future, but is this the end of the story with Laidback Luke and Reloop? Luke? Ha ha. Will there be more products coming? I think the story is just beginning. We're going to put uh, Reloop in some strongholds in the near future to try and get the uh, Get some more gear out that's uh, catered to, to what pros like me love. Um, and what I do want to put out there is, everyone who's watching, I am dead serious about this thing. This is not a thing that I slap my name on and it's a toy and, you know, all, of, all the beginner DJs at home need to buy this and I am going to be on the stages with some other setup. This is my setup. It's right here. I'll be using it. You'll be seeing me making videos on this. This is it. So we can only watch and see, right? 
Um, but for me personally, the future looks really bright because it will be a breeze performing on this everywhere. Let me explain the slogan here. The future of DJing is here, but actually what I'm trying to say, the future of DJing is you. And you can have this set up and go into the future with it.